All right, hello kitties. So here we are, video number three. We are going to um, proceed with uh, finishing this problem right here. In the previous video, I had asked you to write down the ordered pairs that represent this shape. Basically, what I've asked you to is to give me the X and Y coordinates of each of these points um, that are around the perimeter making this shape. So these are the X coordinates and these are the Y coordinates. I did a couple of them and then I asked you guys to finish the rest. You can go ahead and double check. So the next step in this problem is um, basically we're moving each one of these ordered pairs to a new location. What is that new location? Well, that new location is going to be two to the left and five up. Now remember, when we hear the word left or right, it means that we are moving along the x-axis, all right? And when we hear the word up or down, it means we're moving up and down the y-axis, all right? So what you do is, there's a couple of different ways of doing this. So um, one way is to basically, you'll put your pencil on your first point, all right, which is this one right here, the x-coordinate, of this point is zero and the y coordinate of this point is negative two, okay? And now I'm gonna count two to the left and five up from here. So one, two to the left and five up. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. This is your new coordinate of the same shape that we have. This is um, the new coordinate representing, you know, where this point is going to be after we move it two to the left and five up. So there it is. Now, what is that? What are those coordinates? Let's figure it out. We're gonna go from zero. We're gonna count on our X axis because our first number is always X. So here's our zero. We're gonna count to the left, negative one, negative two, right? So for the new coordinate, the first um, X coordinate of the new location is negative two. Okay, and now we're gonna go up. One, two, three, three on the y axis. Okay, there we have it. This is our new location of this first point. Okay, now second one. All right, let's try it. Okay, the second pair. Let's see where it would be. Now, remember, it could be kind of confusing um, in terms of like, why are we counting two to the left and five up? Then why is this not two and five? Well, that's because you're counting from here. If this point was here, if this whole shape was somehow moved up here and the first point was right here, then basically your new coordinates would be two and five. But the shape is down here, so you're counting from here. So you're going one, two to the left from here and five up from here, okay? So let's, let's, let's do a couple of more points um, uh, to show you how that works. All right, so second point. From here, we're gonna go two to the left, one, two, and five up. One, two, three, four, five. So there you go. This is your um, location of your second ordered pair. The X coordinate of this is what? Let's figure it out. We're gonna count from zero. The X coordinate or the first number is from zero. It's one, because we went to the right. And what is the Y coordinate? One, two, three for the Y coordinate. There you go. This is your new location, all right, of this, of the original shape. Okay, let's do another one. Let's do this one right here. So negative three, negative three. All right, so we're going two to the left from here. One, two, and five up. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there's our third ordered pair. Now, what is this coordinate, the X and Y coordinate for this? Let's see, it's one for the X, because we start from zero, one for the X, and one, two for the Y. We went up, okay, there you go. How about this one right here? How about the last one? Okay, so I'm gonna let you do the rest of these, but let me do the last one. The last coordinate in the new location would be Okay, so two to the left, one, two, and five up. One, two, three, four, five. 
Okay, so now what is the new x and y coordinates? Well, let's see, negative from zero on the x-axis, one, two, negative two, and one, two um, on the y-axis, so that's positive two. There you go, now you have to do one, two, three, four, five, six more in the next video, you'll be able to verify that you got it correctly. All right, kitties, go ahead and chip away.